Stephen King's sixth, fifth, sixth, seventh, something like that, Dark Tower Entry, The Wolves of Kala. It's been a minute since I picked up a Dark Tower book, and I wanted to get back in because it's a series that I found to have gotten progressively better the deeper I have gotten in. I respected the first one's ending, and I kind of thought it was above average, but from there, it is purely ramped up. And once again, I believe with the Wolves of Kala, it has, <laughs> I believe it has surpassed all previous entries. Even though Stephen King did something here that I have a lot of mixed emotions about. So why is the Wolves of Kala better than every previous Dark Tower entry so far? It's Pip sneezing. That is why. Well, it is simple. This book has all the previous bonuses of the Dark Tower series, a great set of relationships between the main characters, a fantastic world and atmosphere. I shouldn't even have to say atmosphere. It's Stephen King. Of course, there's a great atmosphere. Loads of neat and interesting world building, but there's something in the world building I'm a bit conflicted about, we'll get to that later. And some of the best character development and plot progression we have gotten within the Dark Tower. Honestly, the Dark Tower's plot and storyline is so interesting how it's kind of alternatively handled and progressed. There's like these episodic side things, but it's beautifully woven in with this wider world and overarching story in a super Stephen King fashion. Uh, it really, the Dark Tower series, it does feel like if prime Stephen King had just turned around, looked at the Lord of the Rings, and was like, <laughs> no, we're gonna do not Frodo. There's gonna be a there's gonna be a, a New York guy and a, a woman with a demon and a gunslinger instead of Aragorn. It's very Stephen King's room. That's what I'm trying to say. But something I appreciate about the Wolves of Kala is it is very focused, very purposefully built to well serving this very nice side story. In fact, I think it's kind of my favorite one-off book story within the Dark Tower series so far. It also has this heavy, ominous presence of the wider building world and some real stakes that will bleed into and affect the rest of the series without doubt. And that's something I will commend Dark Tower with more than I think other series that kind of have more episodic feels with wider running storylines like Dresden Files. You know, I have a lot of love for Dresden Files, but the stakes have consistently felt higher in Dark Tower, even though it does kind of have these little self-contained stories at times. It's interesting, it's very weird. The continued development of the gunslinger Roland is spectacular. The transcendence from a complete machine terminator type feeling person to the relatable psychopath and now more of just a really hardened man. It's a nice little transition. He's landing where most hard asses start, but Good on you, Roland. You're not you're not completely emotionless anymore. And with that, I'm going to transition into full-on spoilers. If you have not read this book, leave. <clears throat> okay, maybe maybe stop doing that with my throat. But get out of here. We're gonna have spoiler talk real quick. So the wolves of Kala turn out to be robots. In fact, robots kind of dominate this Western type feeling situation, which is a odd choice, but very well done. We even have the bad robot. I really like the ending with him, I'm gonna be honest. Not, not like getting out of review mode, just thought it was funny to bury him and make him shut down like that. Of course, like the mental figuring out the password last second thing was a little like, okay, I know you're gonna get it and you got it, neat. But in true Stephen King fashion, while that is a cliche, he actually shows you and spells out the logic of how our character figured it out. Something that not many authors can execute in a way that actually does alleviate the pain of that cliche. And it's not completely there. I mean, people guess passwords, it always kind of annoys me. But the logic was so clear and so concise and it wasn't dumb like he looked over and saw a book at the last second. No, it was more almost just like, oh, logic, he didn't stop me at 19. 1999, got it, cool, done. All right, I, I could see that. I don't think I'd get it, I'd die. I would have died, I, I would be dead. But this situation where the village comes and asks for gunslinger help and we get the actual kind of battle that happens within the town was more of a real uh, conflict than I expected, to be honest, when I started this one. I didn't expect it to accumulate in what felt like a borderline town siege. Uh, I expected Roland to just murder some people like he's done before, but no, no, it was, it was much more of a, a game of wit that led to, uh, oh, nope, not doing that in the throat either. So really, all previous praise I've put on Dark Tower, 
minus really almost all the negatives. There's no real negatives here that bugged me with the Wolves of Kala. I continue to recommend the Dark Tower to just about anybody. It's fun, it's adventurous, it's atmospheric as hell, which is really hard to do. That is something that I don't even bother criticizing many books with because so few succeed at doing it that instead of making it a criticism for books that don't, I just heap praise on books that do and I think every single Stephen King book I've read has managed to have a Stephen King feeling atmosphere, which makes it stand out from pretty much uh, all the competition here. I was hesitant to get into a Stephen King fantasy book because honestly, it's it's just a weird idea. It's it's like if Stephen King wrote Magic School Bus, but you know he turned around, he did it well, and it's worked out. Fantastically. I'm, I'm in. I'm in. I'm gonna continue and I will say now I will finish all the way to the end the Dark Tower series because it's proven to just continually increase in quality and even if it goes back down, the ride up into this point has been well worth it. But there was one choice here that I'm not gonna say is a negative yet, but I'm not sure how I feel about it and that is that Stephen King put Salem's Lot in his story. No, he did not make one of the worlds they jump to Salem's Lot. The physical book, Salem's Lot, makes an appearance. It even says by Stephen King and one of the characters sees it and is aware that it's a book about hip. It's really trippy and weird and any other author if they did this, I would count it as a negative right away and say, you can't handle that. The execution is not going to work out. This is going to be weird. No, don't do this. No, 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 but it's Stephen goddamn King. And pretty much every time I've thought, no way he can handle that right. That's going to go poorly. It works out spectacularly for him, whether it's 112263 and having this conspiracy theory, JFK assassination scenario, that's not even horror at all. I was like, no way Stephen King's going to make that thrilling. It's super compelling in one of his best books. No way a scary clown could haunt my dreams. I'm now afraid of clowns forever. No way he could do like a prison drama. He did it. No way he could make a story about the death row inmate that I love. He did. So, you know what, Stephen King? I'll trust it. It's not really fully flushed out and realized yet. Maybe it'll just be dropped, and if it is, I'll find that kind of annoying. But I trust you to be aware of what you are doing to the point where when you put yourself in your own universe as a existing character, which means the story you are currently writing exists in the story that is happening because Stephen King exists, therefore us in our own world exists because Salem Lots exists and this character within Salem's Lot exists, so... There's a whole lot of implications. I really hope you know what you're doing. But I have faith. I have faith. You're one of the most prolific, interesting, talented writers of the 21st century. Why not? Right? Right? I can trust you. Sorry. It's just the one thing. It's the one thing that's making me nervous going forward with Dark Tower. If it wasn't for that, I'd have so much more confidence. But it also makes me so much more interested going forward because I keep thinking, how in the world is he going to handle that? I guess I'll just have to wait and see. Thank you guys so much for enjoying this review with me. Are you reading Dark Tower? Do you plan on reading Dark Tower? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you've already finished it, don't spoil anything. Some people have been really loosey-goosey with spoilers recently. Don't, no, no spoilers, but let me know if the quality consistently increases or maybe level off with Wolves of Kala. And if it, if it even just levels off, that makes it one of the best fantasy series of all time by the time it finishes. Or does it like taper down and get worse? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Like and subscribe if you have not already. Hit the Patreon if you want to support what I do here. And to my existing Patreons, thank you so much. You're going to be getting another character book update before too long. I hope you're ready for it. It's a, it's a good one. I don't mean to hype up my own things, but it's good. I find it interesting, maybe because I'm writing the book, but I, I find it nice. Have a good one, y'all. Peace.